Hey there, this is Blake Marar with Scenic Sotheby's International Realty. Today we're in Watercolor, uh, master plan community in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. We're at 154 Pine Needle. This is a home that has got a lot to offer. It's in phase two of Watercolor. Um, you'll see a park right across the street here. There's a lot of conveniences nearby. Uh, and this particular home has quite a bit that it brings to the table. So one of those things is a tremendous amount of privacy, 140 feet plus on the road. So it's quite expansive. Straight ahead is a pool. And then you've got a two car garage, plenty of parking and a carriage house. So I'm gonna work out. Quite charming. And so we'll go check things out. Nice mature landscaping here. So you'll immediately see nice, comfortable living here um, with dining. If you just look, you've got shiplap wood. And then as we look up, we've got some architectural detail. It's quite nice. So a real coastal vibe inside the home. Here's our kitchen. Gas range. And then as we look out here, we've got our pool with our feature, a water feature there. So we have two bedrooms down and one up. And then in the carriage house, we have a bedroom for a total of four bedrooms. Square footage is right around 3,250. Actually, a little bit more, but that's about right. We have a wine fridge here. Got some storage space. Lockers here for your beach fun, kids things. We can discover these bedrooms. So here is your powder for guests right here on this level. One of the bedrooms here, guest bedrooms with an ensuite bath. Really cute. Got some color, got some off, got some personality. Closet here. This functions as a downstairs primary bedroom that has nice sunlight and as you'll see you got a real yard here so if someone had wanted to expand out here with a, a porch of some kind they could easily do that which would really further enhance this uh, as you can see plenty of closet space and then let's check out the bathroom Double vanities, water closet. That's not what I was looking for. Okay, frameless glass doors. So this is the downstairs primary. Okay. Oops, that's it. Whoa, whoa. Let's go upstairs, see what we've got here. Got a lot of volume, a lot of space. Those windows up there bring in a tremendous amount of natural light. Light colored floors. It's 
very nice to have a secondary living space for guests. Gives everybody a little bit of their own breathing room. Could easily set this up as a, an office. And then this is the more pronounced primary bedroom here. So we'll go here. Very nice. Plenty of closet space. And then this gives you a better look at that space that we looked at through the downstairs bedroom. And then one of the most redeeming qualities, this all backs up to preservation that cannot be built on. See if I can incorporate that somehow in a, a map to help articulate how significant that really is. So you got wood walls here. Let's see the the bathroom. You got a nice basket weave accent here, water closet here. Love this. Marble surround, more basket weave on the ceiling. So some really nice accents. So it's a pretty spectacular space here. And then what I'm most excited about is to show you the outdoor space along with the carriage house. So sorry for the wobbles. So sorry. All right. So just nice covered screened sitting area. This is a, a swing here that's missing its little cover here, but just a single mattress. Got some tongue and groove on the ceiling. So you've got cafe lighting here. Pool, room for chaises out here. Got your two car garage here. Let's go see the carriage house. And so you can see the road just a little here. Give you an idea of what's going on. But uh, I've got nice wax myrtles that buffer this area here. Beautiful, mature magnolia. Get a gorgeous view of the house with its trellis brackets very pretty so it's really a studio with full kitchenette seating Juliet balcony It's functional and then its own bathroom. Single vanity, a window seat, all for storage here. Its own shower, of course, and a linen closet with goodness. So you've seen it, bringing this to market right away. Sometime this week, I think it's April 26th. 2022. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay tuned for more videos coming from us. Appreciate you taking the time to get to this point all the way to the end to see it. This is Blake Marar with Scenic Sotheby's International Realty. Bye for now.